is BitConnect a scam? That's been the big question in cryptocurrencies for a long time now, so we thought we'd cover it by running through our 11 red flags we found with the project, and then we're gonna move on to talk about when we think that BitConnect will most likely collapse. Hi, I'm Tom from CryptoGurus.com, and if you have money invested in BitConnect and you wanna learn more, keep watching. Before we begin, I want to let you guys know that the contents you can see behind me on the screen are in the description with little time codes next to them, so if you feel like jumping ahead at any point in this video, please feel free to do so. Now I'll run through the contents for you guys so you know exactly what is coming up in this video. First thing we're going to talk about, we'll briefly cover what BitConnect is, we'll talk about how it works, then we'll move on to our 11 red flags we found with the project, followed by a quick discussion of when BitConnect could collapse, we'll cover whether it could have the same impact on the market as Mt. Gox did in 2014, and then wrap it all up with our conclusion. I also want to quickly show you guys this because we've written a full article to go along with this video. In fact, it has more detail in this video, Will. So if you guys want to read this as well, head straight over to our website, cryptogurus.com. You can click through the link in the description and you can begin reading right now. On top of this, there's actually a lot of content that we don't make YouTube videos for, but we do write articles for. So if you want to see a lot more exclusive content, make sure you click through the link in the description. But anyway, let's begin with our presentation. So the first thing I want to say is for anyone out there who's a big fan of BitConnect, I apologize if this video offends you. That is not our intention at all. Please respect the fact that we're just being as honest as possible. We understand that this video is probably going to get a lot of dislikes, but that's just how it is. We'd rather get dislikes than be dishonest to our audience. With that out of the way, let's talk about what BitConnect is. Well, in their words, BitConnect is a cryptocurrency that allows people to store and invest wealth while earning substantial interest on investment. In our words, BitConnect is an investment program promising unrealistic returns and is most likely a pyramid or Ponzi scheme. So how does BitConnect work? Well, they claim it works like so. You deposit Bitcoin in order to purchase BitConnect coins from the BitConnect exchange. You can then lend your BitConnect coins back to BitConnect. Their trading bot will be used to accrue daily interest on your investment, most commonly quoted as around 1% a day. The level of interest you'll receive will vary with your investment as well as the minimum time that your money is locked up. So the minimum time before you can withdraw your money is usually between 120 and 299 days. Essentially, you receive your daily interest and over time, the theory is that you'll build up more money than you began with and eventually you can withdraw it all in one go. This occurs once the lockdown period has finished and then you can withdraw your funds into US dollars or you can reinvest it into the platform. So how do we think that BitConnect actually works? Well, we think it's just a simple pyramid or Ponzi scheme. In other words, when a new person joins their money is used to pay the existing members. No new wealth is actually created at all. I've mentioned this before to people and they've disagreed with me because of one reason. They say that they've joined the platform and they've received their payouts, therefore it must be legitimate. You see stories all over the internet of people who have received their payouts, so surely this must dispel the myth that it's a pyramid scheme. In truth though, this doesn't dispel the myth at all, because a pyramid scheme is designed so that it should be paying all of the people who join until one day it suddenly collapses lapses. Just because people have been paid so far, it doesn't mean anything. This is exactly what we expect with a pyramid scheme. The people who join at the beginning of these schemes always do brilliantly, while the people at the end lose all of their money. The problem is all pyramid schemes eventually collapse and it's impossible to predict when it will happen. So you may think that you're joining at the right time. In the end, you end up losing all of your money because it collapses soon after you've joined. So now we want to move on to our 11 red flags. I mean, not just one or two, Two, we found 11 things that could potentially highlight the fact that this is a scheme. Not all of these alone are enough to indicate this to us, but when you combine 11 indications into one project, it definitely doesn't bode well. So let's begin running through them. The first one is the website. If you read through it, there's so many grammatical errors, there's little to no information on there. And worst of all, when you watch their explainer video, it's absolutely ridiculous. It just uses a bunch of buzzwords, but doesn't explain at all how BitConnect even works. Number two, the fact there's no white paper. If you been in the crypto space for a while, you'll know that every half decent project has a sophisticated white paper. BitConnect doesn't even have one at all. This is absolutely ridiculous to us. Number three is the roadmap. So if you look at their roadmap, there's pretty much no goals past November 2017, which is when I'm recording this, other than marketing. They're clearly just trying to get more people into their platform. They're not really even trying to improve it, which really isn't a good sign at all. Number four, which is arguably the biggest sign of a scam, is when anyone says guaranteed 
profit. Nobody in the whole world can guarantee a profit. Even the safest investment can't 100% guarantee anything. Even if you get a bond from the US government, which is most likely only paying you in one year, or BitConnect claims to pay you in a single day, they still can't even 100% guarantee it because nobody can predict the future. It's impossible, especially when someone says something like 1% a day, which is what BitConnect are claiming. In fact, we read an article by a YouTuber crypto investor, well worth checking out guys by the way if you haven't watched any of his videos very good content and he basically worked out that if you took a 10k investment and you compounded it weekly using BitConnect's claimed profits you would have 15 trillion dollars after six years to put this into context that's the GDP of a small country honestly if BitConnect could really make that much profit why would they share that with anyone no one in history has been able to generate such consistent profit simply not possible number five there's no transaction history history or even proof of a trading bot. If you really had come up with this incredible trading bot that was making money for everyone, why wouldn't you just show people? Number six is the five million disappearing coins. So what basically happened was around a month ago, BitConnect was climbing to a very high market cap, nearly two billion at the time. And then suddenly overnight, it lost over a billion in its market cap. And the reason was, was that BitConnect claimed they'd miscalculated the number of circulating coins. So suddenly instead of being around seven and a half million, it dropped to around two and a half million. We've never seen anything like this at all, especially to miscalculate so badly. We think the reason is simply that people were seeing BitConnect getting so big. The larger it gets, the more likely it's getting nearer to the point where it pops. So they thought we need to reduce our market cap and make ourselves less significant in the market. In other words, kind of flying under the radar rather than getting too much attention and everyone talking about the upcoming collapse of BitConnect. So essentially they took a billion dollars off their market cap so they could fly under the radar and continue continue their operations. Number seven, they want to be paid in Bitcoin. The way that just about every cryptocurrency works is that you pay for the service offered by the project in the native coins. So why is it that they only want Bitcoin? They don't want to be paid in BitConnect coins. Is it perhaps they realize that BitConnect coins will be worthless once BitConnect collapse? Most likely, yes. Number eight, BitConnect Exchange deals with 95% of BitConnect transactions. In other words, their coins aren't really traded on other exchanges. Now, bearing in mind that most likely BitConnect is a pyramid scheme in the first place, do we think it's likely they're also using market manipulation on their exchange to increase the prices? Yes, yes, we think that's very likely, and it's yet another thing to be concerned about with the project. Number nine is they have a new referral system in place which pays less. The old referral system allowed people to refer an infinite number of individuals and it's resulted in a lot of famous YouTubers making a ton of money referring other people to join and it simply wasn't sustainable. BitConnect couldn't carry on paying these people so much money they had to come up with a new system. Number 10 is Dash and Vitalik. Both are highly reputable in cryptos and both have called it a scam. Dash have even gone as far as asking CoinMarketCap not to list BitConnect because they think that's too much publicity for them. And number 11 which is quite an important one is the recent UK government letter to BitConnect. So it basically said, prove you're not a scam or we'll shut you down and the crown will take your property. I know what you're thinking. And the answer is yes, the queen is an absolute badass. Now there's a little bit of talk of whether this was necessarily aimed at the right BitConnect or not. No one knows for certain. We think it's pretty likely that it was though, bearing in mind the fact that they were talking about prove you're not a scam or we'll shut you down. And BitConnect is most likely the biggest scam in the world called BitConnect. It seems like too big a coincidence not to be. So now we're gonna talk about when Bitconnect BitConnect will end. Now this is an interesting topic and arguably more interesting than whether BitConnect is a scam or not. I think a lot of the market has come around to realize that it is. So we want to talk about this, especially as a lot of viewers may have money invested. To figure out when it will most likely end, we have to talk about how BitConnect are paying people. Now we think there's most likely two ways. The first is the standard pyramid scheme, which is just to take new investor money and give it to the old investors. That's pyramid scheme 101. The second is probably through market investment. After all, they're in cryptocurrencies themselves and everyone's making a lot of money by investing in cryptocurrencies. They've probably bought a bunch of Bitcoin and potentially other altcoins as well. And they're paying the old investors through some of the profits they've made through these investments. However, it should be noted the market investments are making less than BitConnect's consistent 1% per day payout. Therefore, through investments alone, they can't continue to pay people. They have to continue attracting 
new people to the platform. So we can see this ending in two possible ways and both are in the relatively near future. We might not be correct at all, we're simply speculating just like everyone else, but this is how we see it at least. Most pyramid schemes end once people realize that it's a scheme. However, in the case of BitConnect, this hasn't happened. So many people are talking about the fact it's a pyramid scheme and yet the price seems to grow to new heights every other week. In other words, the market hasn't shut BitConnect down like it would with a regular pyramid scheme. And this is where governments may step in. If they're realizing the market isn't instinctively doing this, they may step in and say this is a scam. We've already seen the first example with the UK government and we could see many more to come. Now many of you may be thinking, but it's a cryptocurrency and it's decentralized. You can't shut it down. No government can. While this may be the case, governments can most likely find the people behind BitConnect and arrest them. If this happens and it becomes public, BitConnect may not be shut down, but I'm pretty sure this is going to scare away the majority of investors. The second way is what if they simply stop getting enough new investors in to pay the old investors? Now, when the crypto market is booming, and we've seen such incredible gains where some cryptocurrencies go up 30-40% in a day, and we've recently gone past the $300 billion mark for all cryptocurrencies. With this going on, why would you invest in BitConnect? You can invest in so many different coins and get incredible returns, why would you buy a known pyramid scheme that could suddenly collapse and you could lose all your money? You can get relatively similar rewards from a legit cryptocurrency that you don't need to worry about losing all of your money. So we've actually seen in the past that as the market struggles, BitConnect does very well because it offers guaranteed payouts. So when the market's not doing well, people might switch to BitConnect. And the reverse is also true. If you look at a graph for the last seven days, you'll see that BitConnect has been relatively stagnant while the whole market has gone crazy. If this is the case, and just about everyone in cryptocurrency seems to agree that 2018 could be the big year for cryptocurrencies, surely we can expect the market to do incredibly and this could cause BitConnect to struggle. As any pyramid scheme begins to struggle, the threat of collapse grows higher and higher every single day. It's for this reason that we think there is a genuine threat of BitConnect ending relatively soon. Now I'm sorry to interrupt guys, we're going to get back to the content in just a second. I just want to quickly say if you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe to see more just like it and a lot of extensive reviews, which is what we mostly focus on. Also, if you're already subscribed, remember to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button down below. Otherwise, you won't see notifications from us and you won't get to know about upcoming videos. Back to the content, let's quickly talk about whether this could be a repeat of Mt. Gox. So I was watching a video a few weeks ago from Crypto Daily. If you don't know about him he's a hilarious youtuber one of the funniest and most legit guys on youtube talking about cryptos definitely go check him out and he was basically saying something that i've heard from him and other people which is the bitconnects collapse could be a repeat of mount gox and what they mean by that is that it could affect the market in a similar way so if you don't know what mount gox is it's a famous bitcoin exchange that collapsed in 2014 at the time it was handling around 80 percent of bitcoin transactions and basically it got hacked so the vast majority of bitcoin that they were holding for customers was stolen and it caused market prices to crash severely. So the argument goes that a top 20 cryptocurrency collapsing overnight could have a similar impact. Personally though, we don't really think this is very likely. Number one, the market is much, much more developed now. Back then it was pretty much just Bitcoin. Now we have a whole ecosystem of cryptocurrencies. Number two, it's a very small fraction of the overall market cap. So whenever the price of Bitcoin dips, it kind of drags the whole market with it due to the fact that Bitcoin Bitcoin is so huge. It represents over 50% of the market. And back then in 2014, it was even more. BitConnect now is just a very small fraction, which is why it seems less likely. And number three, to be honest, it's not really much of a surprise. If it does collapse and it turns out to be a pyramid scheme, I think a lot of people in cryptocurrencies won't even be that shocked. So what's our conclusion? Well, as I always say in videos, we could be wrong. We're speculators just like everyone else. Personally, when it comes to this video though, this is definitely the one that we're most confident with. The BitConnect is something to stay away from. If you've already made your money, congratulations, but it's probably best to walk away with it now because with every pyramid scheme, early investors make a lot of money and all of the late investors lose their money. It's impossible to predict when it will collapse. So you may think 
think you're the early investor, but you could be the late investor. Plus, we think the collapse could actually happen relatively soon. Remember, guys, the full article for this video, along with other exclusive content that we don't make for YouTube, is on our website, CryptoGurus.com. The link will be in the description. If you guys have liked the video, remember to hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to it to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. If you have any constructive feedback, leave a comment. We're expecting to get quite a few dislikes for this video from BitConnect investors. But as I said before, we'd rather take the dislikes than be dishonest with you guys. So if anything I've said has offended you, I apologize. This has all just been our opinion. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we will speak again very soon.